Welcome to Riding Shotgun. We're in October. Yes, we are indeed. Crops are out. <laughs> yep. Uh, still some crops in around here, but ours are gone. And um, supposed to maybe rain a little bit tomorrow, so uh, get out here while it's dry. I didn't bring Alfie today because my wife and her sister are going on a horse ride in a little bit, and they're going to take Alfie with her. She likes to go horseback riding too, so uh, they get her company today. And um, but uh, coming off a of bye week for Illini football, and um, you know the bye weeks are for resting physically and mentally, uh, getting healthy. And um, Lovey claims that Lovey Smith claims that the Illini football team is has gotten healthier. Uh, we do not know what that actually means because he won't say is AJ Bush healthy enough to play Saturday when they go to Rutgers. Um, he's been out longer than I thought he would from um, with a hamstring. And then uh, Jamal Milan, who they really need in the middle of that defensive line. Um, you know, I think he's going to be back, but that's just a guess because they won't say. You know, he hurt that knee during training camp. And um, and then Bennett Williams is the, another one that I'm kind of interested in because uh, I don't think he finished the last game. And there's a guy who really hasn't had an impact yet and I thought would be one of their best, if not their, their best, defensive players. So uh, Lovey said they're going to make some changes. Of course, he won't say what they are. I hope they're on defense where they – bring those DBs up closer and challenge more there. Um, you know, this is get ready for, in my opinion, a must-win road game. And um, Illinois hasn't had many must-win road games, but it's at Rutgers Saturday at 11. Um, I think you could argue, and I don't want to overstate it, but it might be the most important game of Lovey's tenure because Rutgers is bad. They're 1-4. and four. They've lost four in a row. Um, their quarterback got knocked around like a pinata against Indiana. Their offensive line was horrible. Their coaching staff called their offensive line out this week. Um, they just they didn't block anybody, particularly on the pass in pass protection. If if Illinois wins this game and they're favored by three and a half, this at least they were this morning. You can claim progress. You can say, see, we said we're starting to make some progress. Okay, here we are. Now we're above 500. And, but if you lose, it's a step backwards. Uh, where's the progress if you can't beat this team? So, I mean, I think it's, no matter who's at quarterback, whether it's A.J. Bush or M.J. Rivers, I think you have to win this game. And, um, and I'm going to pick them to do it. Am I a sucker to do that? Would you pick them? I've been thinking about that. I'm not sure. If you win this game... You look at your schedule and you say, you know, there's other games we can win. You still have to play Purdue. I think Purdue's a, a notch better, but the game's in Champaign. It's homecoming. You still have to play Maryland. Maryland isn't any great shakes. Um, you still have to play Minnesota. You still have to play at Nebraska, but Nebraska has really struggled. And you still have to play Northwestern, which has kind of been up and down. Um, I think they're up, you know, a notch better, but... We'll see. So, um, anyhow, I think they need to win this game. And I think I know they need to play better defensively in order to increase their chances to do it. And we'll see how healthy they actually are coming out of this, this bye week. Uh, regarding basketball, uh, media day is this Friday, an opportunity to talk to the freshmen. It might be our only opportunity to until the season begins. So I'm excited about that. And, of course, the news that E.J. Liddell picked Ohio State over Illinois and Missouri. Um, you know, it sounded like that's where he, where he was leaning. And, you know, it just, just goes back to the same thing I've talked about a number of times. Um, Illinois cannot dangle in front of recruits what they want. They want evidence of winning. They want evidence of competing for Big Ten titles. They want uh, NCAA tournament appearances and some level of relevance nationally and they want a recent um, you know they want to see that recently you've been putting players in the NBA and Illinois can claim none of that and that's the situation that Brad Underwood inherited when he took over it's difficult 
it's why I call it recruiting uphill. You, it's just a something, a mountain you're going to have to climb, and um, and it's tough. And um, I know they made a, a good, strong effort, but that's a, a sales pitch that it's really hard when when the other school is is telling these kids why would you go there when these are the things that are important to you, and they can offer you none of them. And, the, you know, in the case of E.J. Liddell, the thing you had was perhaps geographic proximity, perhaps a longer relationship because of the work Jamal Walker did. And I see no evidence that Jamal didn't do a really good job on the recruitment. It's just a lot to overcome. And, um, and they were not able to do that. And, you know, the, the worst thing about it is you not only lose him, and he's a really good player, you not only lose him to another school, but now you got to play against him, and uh, uh, and every time you do, you're like, oh man. So um, anyhow, we'll see. Uh, Friday media day. That's going to be nice to talk to some of those young kids. You know what I see back here today, and I've seen this before, and I don't have any way to share this with you. But I'm seeing a lot of monarch butterflies. We've seen a lot of monarchs this summer, but they stage back here before they migrate. Uh, we have seen trees with, you know, a hundred of them in the tree, uh, maybe more. And, and I'm not seeing that right now. Uh, you know, our leaves haven't really started to turn significantly. They're starting to just take on a little yellow tint in some areas. But, um, but I'm seeing, you know, four, five, six of them flying in a little cluster and bouncing around. That's good to see. Um, I know that's a species that's kind of been in peril, but um, anyhow... So um, that's all for this week. Uh, I'm going to try to get another shotgun done next Monday. Um, I'm going to be out of town on Tuesday for a little bit. And so I'll try to um, get something on Twitter to let you know when. If I get one on next Monday, then um, I'll let you know when the next one will be on. It may, it may be that I miss a week, but um, we'll see the best I can do. I'm going to try to get a column written for Sunday's Herald and Review on Illinois basketball, either, either visiting with um, one of the freshmen is likely what I'm going to do. I've been really wanting to talk to them, and they're off limits right now until media day, and then and then I'm guessing they're likely to be off limits until um, until the wow. There's a lot of hedge apples here. Holy cow! I hope one doesn't hit us in the roof um, <laughs> um, until they get into a game. And then after that, generally, Brad's been pretty good about allowing us to request them and so forth. But it's good to hear those, hear their voices. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, obviously everybody wants to hear from Io, um, but I'm thinking about Georgie, um, who's a pretty fascinating kid. Um, I don't know how talkative Tevian Jones is, but I think he's a pretty fascinating kid. And uh, so, and Samba Kane, I'd like to visit with him too. So we'll see how that all goes. Uh, that's all for now. Have a great weekend. Um, 11 o'clock Saturday, Illinois at Rutgers. I hope I'm not a sucker for picking them. I'm picking them. That's it. Sucker or not, I'm picking them. And uh, driving across the corner of, a, of the cornfield here. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. All right. Folks, thanks a bunch. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.